Hi, this is the continuation video to two previous videos where I explain how to write a custom validation for dialog field and in second where I explain how to write a maximum and minimum uh, item validation in a multi field. So in this tutorial I will be uh, writing how to write a validation for a text field where a user cannot enter min lowercase characters or a number that means user can add only the uppercase like uh, uppercase characters in this text field so for that we will be writing a custom validator uh, if you are not sure how to write a custom validator I briefly explain in a video I'll give a link in description to that video but just for the sake of understanding I explain a bit how to write a validator custom validation using uh, AEM framework validation framework okay so let's let's go to crxt so this is the client library I used for writing validation code validator code so in this client library I have a JavaScript file author.js where I wrote a validator for multi-field let me write a one more validator and then I'll explain a bit how it work uh, in that video I, uh, I explain in detail how to write a custom validator but just, just for the sake of understanding uh, this is the registry I'm adapting a window object to registry and this registry is used to register my validator okay so this thing what you see here in data validation in selector this is basically this define uh, in your field validation property so from this property this selector this validator will understand okay this this is the field where this validation will be applied and this function validate function you will be writing your own uh, logic to validate whatever you are writing and then if the validation fail you will be return a error message from here so this is the way how we write validation if you need more uh, understanding please uh, check that video I'll give that link of that video in description okay so let me write a regex so what I'll do to add a check over here that user can only enter uppercase letter not a lowercase letter or the number so for that I will be writing a simple regex function three line of regex code and if that regex fail then it will return a uh, error message to it okay okay let me pull this in IntelliJ this code if you are not sure how I am pulling this there is a video available of in this series the third and the second video you can go and check get so now see the whatever code was there come to my code base so this validator right so I'm I will be writing my custom logic here to validate that field and as I told you I will be writing a regex for to validate that like it should be uppercase letter only not lowercase or not numbers okay so what I define here is I define a pattern for numbers and the lowercase letters you need to understand here this part this is the element basically this is the uh, this is the item uh, passed on to this validator on which this validation is applied that means in EL we will have a object of that item means the object of the DOM right so what I'm doing in this line what I'm getting the value of this text field right whatever we type here that that the value will be stored in this value okay the benefit of this is custom uh, validation framework you don't need to write any events suppose if you are writing your own JavaScript you have to write a click event or the change event for this uh, for this field right when if you want to get this value you have to write something you write a click event or the change event here but in this framework uh, validation framework everything is handled itself you just need to write your own code okay so in this value I got that value typed means the text field here I'm checking okay this value is either lowercase and uppercase if it is a lowercase or a number then it will return a error message 
right if you're returning an error message that message that means the framework will understand okay there is something something happened and there is an error right so that will display the message you return okay let me save it and let me push it back to am okay uh, just confirm once let me refresh Yeah, our code has been come you need to understand one more thing the value I define here you will give this value to a uh, validation property in a field let let's go to the dialog okay this is the field where let me zoom it this is the field where I'm applying this validation so what I did I added a validation property and the value of this validation property is geeks hyphen first name hyphen validation and this property I define in my code here if you check let me okay you see here this one so I define this property here by this property uh, data hyphen validation attribute this selector attribute by this property this validation or this validator will understand okay I have to apply this validation on where uh, on that field where it has this validation property okay so let me save everything let me it okay let me edit that so let's verify it let let's add a uppercase character it's fine it, let's try to add a lowercase character uh, it's error it's give error and uh, the message error message would be what you return from that validator right let's try to add at beginning it's giving error if you try to add numbers it is not allowing me numbers right even if it's single lowercase digit or a single number that will will return a false means the error message and you won't be able to submit this dialog right so this is the way how you write the dialogues uh, validation for a field custom validation for a field okay uh, so I hope you understand if you have any kind of questions any anything you need to understand just do comment I'll try to answer it thank you